Hey, this is Ben, a registered nurse and I am back with another important topic you must know for safety questions. As we all know safety is the number one concern in nursing. We will be discussing the use of crutches, canes, and walkers today. First we are going to discuss crutches. There should be two to three finger width below the anterior axillary fold to a point lateral to and slightly in front of the foot. Measure hand grips. And the angle of elbow flexion should be 30 degrees. There are three types of gait with crutches. Two-point gait. Three-point gait. And four-point gait. Now, the question arises like what type of gait we are going to teach a patient. Well, just ask yourself, how many legs are affected? If both legs are affected, we will teach two or four-point gait. If one leg is affected, we will teach three-point gait. Memorize, even for even and odd for odd. This will help you in answering questions. Let's discuss types of gates. Two-point gait. In two-point gait, move a crutch and opposite foot together. This is for mild bilateral weakness. Three-point gait. In three-point gait, move two crutches and bad leg together. Four-point gait. In four-point gait, move right crutch and then left leg. Left crutch and then right leg. This gait is for severe bilateral weakness. Now we have learned different types of gaits, but how are they going to climb up the stairs? The answer is very simple. Just memorize up with the good and down with the bad. Going upstairs, lead with good foot and crutches move with the bad legs. Now, we are going to discuss the use of canes. Remember Cole. Cane opposite affected leg. Top of the cane should be even with great trochanter. Or it should be even with the wrist crease closest to hand. Elbow flexion should be 15 to 30 degrees. This is all you need to know for canes. Walkers. The patient holds the hand grips on the upper bars. Takes a step, moves the walker forward, and takes another step. Elbows should be kept at a 15 to 30 degree angle with rubber tips on the feet of the device for added safety. This topic is very important to answer the safety questions in nursing school. Safety is the number one concern. Hope you like this video. We will be back soon with another important topic. Thanks for watching this video. Please support this channel for more videos.